But if he can get himself going defensively, the offense will come. And Cooper is. and one off the window. Four weak side, and here comes Cooper with the push to the left side and in. He just kind of is calm. You know, you can tell he's an older guy. Oh, hey. Cooper able to split the double on the oop of his own! You gotta foul him, knock him down, do something. He's got fouls to give. He'll try the 15 footer and run him down. Here is Cooper to the left, into the lane, count it! It's like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. Oh, the receiving end. He's got a couple of triples now and a double digits. Great possession. Cooper with the takeaway. Tigers lead it eight to four. Cooper attacking off glass counting. Created the loose ball and then Johnson was able to finish again. Cooper feels like they have about twice as many. <laughs> yes, it does. Great Cooper feet. that we've seen this evening has been matched by Auburn. The bounce pass. Cardwell attacking in a long time. But Roy, I want to go back to that. Alabama. He may have one in him tonight by the time it's all said and done. <laughs> Attacking. How about that move? Pick from behind. Cambridge. Cooper. Alley oop. That's what he does. And there's the flush. Four. Grab it in traffic. Three. Jerseys around him. And what a look there from Cooper. Adjusted offensive efficiency and adjusted defensive efficiency. We'll see if Kentucky can capitalize on it. Cooper to the hole. Great uh -huh. dump off and an easy flush. Brooks hedges on Cooper. He goes to the rack, lays it up and in. Sharif Cooper. Transition defense for both of those, these teams will be paramount. Jalen Tate is really a ball hawking defender. Two off the bench already for number four in blue. And that starts getting in your head, Roy. Deep three. Cooper connects. I talked about impacting the game in different ways. The Hogs flexing their muscles on the offensive glass a little bit. You no know, Arkansas staff was worried about their team's confidence. There's nothing wrong with Desi Sills' confidence right now. Cooper, high off the glass. His guys motivated with no seed to play for, no standing to play for. Bruce Pearl feeds his guys with so much confidence as a shooter, Beth. The only thing he's against is early transition guard to three. And you have to be a tough, physical defender at your spot. Against LSU was amazing. All threes and layups. Cooper going to have a chance from deep, and he'll knock it down. The senior from Arkansas drills the first field goal for Missouri. Love on the baseline. Cooper attacking. Excellent feed. Now Cooper breaking down. Pinson flew by Wilmore. Tillman because he's had a tough few years in terms of just roller coaster. From down the road in Powder Springs, Georgia. It's seven points, make it nine. Five assists tonight. Tigers. Mark Smith. Rebound to Williams. Cooper. Lob it up. Cambridge seems to be aligning right now for the Tigers at this point in the season. A lot of momentum. And with a three-point lead. Get Cooper in a position to be successful. Let him go. Sights on the end zone. Rolls through. One of the things well, I like was about a really good looking guard looking is shot. averaging 22. It's a high-volume set of shooting. Look at it from yep. Mitchell. Good rescreen. The defender went under, and Mitchell knew exactly what to do. He is first team All American, and if this team wasn't so balanced, you'd certainly put him in the mix for Player of the Year along with Luca Garza. Who would win that game? Because I've seen them both, and they're both great. But if you made me de decide. Love playing with each other back in high school at AAU ball. Their AAU coach was. Georgia scored 1.14 points per possession in the first half. Anything over one in the college game is pretty good. This game could get fun if it gets going up and down and guys start hitting shots. To whose advantage would that be? Three, he made a layup, and now watch the explosion. Dances, that time it's an assist. Team that's up and down, space it out, usually their advantage. Wow. Cooper able to get inside. 
the word has it from the coaches. We need you to pick up the pace. A couple of big ones from Wheeler. Here's Cooper, shows the ball and puts it in. Guaranteed money, different value for the first round picks. We'll see if he can play his way into that spot, but that's the reason he can. That vision against the zone. And mind you, I know Alabama lost today, but Alabama's legit. Get 26 points, 9 rebounds. Cooper on the quick counter and one. They are not at full strength, by the yeah. way. Hadim C. Gonzaga had a battle the other night against Pacific. Um, heads up. As it gets reversed back to him and then drive it down the lane line. And he draws attention. Tried to beat the shot clock buzzer. Cooper. Oh, boy. Long bounce pass. <laughs> and the goaltending call. Give the bucket to Cambridge. When he gets stronger, that'll be a one bounce that can skip one time and come flying off the ground. First half for Auburn, the only guy who found himself in some trouble. What a look and a fine for the ninth assist of the day for Cooper. Five. Oh. oh, terrific no look from Cooper to Cardwell. Back, they went on a 12-0 run, took the lead. Vanderbilt fought back late in the first half on Brown. His first basket. Another alley-oop. All right, yeah, take it. Sean, he's been rolling tonight, too. Cooper, really good game coming up at 4 Eastern on ESPN2, Arkansas and Missouri. Cooper, 10 seconds and under. Cooper against Toppin. Penetrates, fades, and hits. In and out. Rebound, Cardwell. Cooper on the dribble drive. In this first half, high screen, Akingbola. The power of Thor. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Kentucky has never led. Now all of a sudden they're dragging the ball to the middle of the floor, driving it to the ball, and then kicking it out. Much easier way to shoot the basketball. They're going to switch them, get see certain switches, and they've got to be able to take advantage of different mismatches when they get them. And that's what Bruce Pearl got to be able to, to guard your yard and, and be able to keep the ball contained. And right now, A's across the board. That looks like Dallin's report card. Very low release point. He's got to be able to make freeze consistently. Chance for Auburn to close the gap here. Cooper on the spread out. That was against Texas A&M. Hit five threes in that game. Cooper down the paint. Here's Cooper in traffic again and finishing again. 